Okay, this is how we're going to remove the door panel on a 2008 F-250. We have to change the uh, the channel that the uh, that the window rides in right up in here. It's actually is broken down in, in the front of the door over here someplace. Cause the window is actually crooked. So uh, let's take the door apart, and I'll show you how we're uh, we're going to do it. First thing you first thing you're going to do is underneath the bottom of the door, you'll see a little cover. Take that cover out to access the two screws, and what we're going to do is take out the screws all right there's also a couple of screws underneath the bottom here there's one up in the back of the door here that we're going to take off Got another one up underneath here. We'll take that off. And we need to, to lift this door panel up and out. So we need to remove this cover right up here. There's little pins underneath that you just put a little bit of pressure, outward pressure, and it pops right off. Careful, you don't want to break these pins. That's what holds it in these. These little pins right here hold it into the door right there, so you're just pulling it out this way here. Now to remove the door itself, I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll show you how to do it. And then what we have to do is we have to disconnect the wiring in the back of the door itself. And it pulls right out. This little clip right here. Push it in and it pops right out. Same thing on this, this other wire right here. A little pin there, push it in, and it pulls right out. Same thing on the power mirror. You push that little clip in, and it pulls right out. And then we can just move the door over to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the the speaker. It's got to come off because we need to take that plastic off. So we just unscrew all the bolts to hold the speaker. And we just take the speaker and pull it out. And there's a little clip on the back of the speaker. Also, that right there, you just push that, that clip in and you just rock it a little bit and it comes right out and then this plastic sheeting that's over the door it's a weather strip or a sound insulator we just take this all off but we need to reuse it again so you got to be careful okay then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the window from the uh, from the channel and the way you're going to do that is you're going to just uh, reattach your uh, your window switch bring the uh, the power window down just bring it down so you can get into get to the screws right inside through this hole here and then it's right here we're going to take out this screw here and that one and then we're going to lift the window up and out of the truck I'll show you how it's done get the window channel we have to pull this window channel over in order to get the window to tilt down and out so you just remove this screw right in here take that out 
now the channel will move just a little bit and then we can take the window and tilt the front of it down and the back of it up and pull the window out. Uh, I'll show you how to do the rest. The reason we're removing this is because this channel in here has broken right off. The weld is, has broken off. So we're re replacing the, the entire channel that the window runs in. So. so we'll just disconnect everything that holds the channel into place. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. We remove this screw right here that holds the channel in the window. Remove this screw here. Remove this screw down on the bottom right here that holds the channel in place. We're going to have to relocate the mirror now. We have to take the mirror off the truck and pull it out of the way so we can get this channel to pull out in the back right over here. To get off the mirror, we need to take out this screw here, this here, and then take these two rubber covers that are right in here, you pop them out, and it gives you access to the other screws in here. So you just loosen them up, and take them out, and we'll pull the mirror out. Let me show you how it goes. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pull this little lock clip back like that. Pull that little clip back, and then what you do is you press that little tab in, and the mirror unplugs right off like that. And now we can take the mirror off the uh, the truck to get it out of our way. Now that you've got the, the mirror out of the way, we can pull this out and that takes the channel out of the, uh, the, uh, the door frame itself. And this is the piece we're going to be replacing right here. The channel which runs around the door and just pull the whole thing down, the whole thing comes right out. And then down inside the door here itself, still up inside there and as you can see here this piece here slides up into the I'll show you the channel right down and get a light it slides right up into this part 
right up in here. That piece with the little clip on it slides right up inside there. And I'll show you how we put it back together. Just want to show you before I put the channel back into the into the truck itself. The channel from the Ford dealer, it's a redesigned channel, so there must have been a uh, problem with the, the design of it. Um, that's the difference. We just mount it in there and we'll uh, see how it goes. All right, you can see there's a difference here. There's no bracket on here. And up on the top, there's no screw any longer inside the, uh, the channel. So uh, let's get started and we'll see how it goes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, put the channel back in the way that it came out. Um, as you recall, we took it out through this opening right inside here. So we're going to come back in through the opening, come up through the top this way, and then put the forward piece back down inside the front over here. So let's see how it goes. Remember, we have to get this clip right here. This clip has got to fit back inside that channel right down inside there. So you're going to have to work it from the bottom to get it in. Channel is in exactly where it belongs. And we're just going to get that bolt right down in there just snug. We're not going to tighten it in yet. Put the channel back up around the outside of the window, and now we'll try to get this piece in front over here. Just a little bit of advice. You want to, uh, before you put this rubber up inside where it belongs up here into the channel, you want to come down and you want to connect in this lower bolt here to hold the channel in the correct position so that when you put the rubber back in, it's pushed in as far as it's supposed to go. So we just have this loosely mounted here, loosely mounted here, and now we'll put the rubber back in. Make sure before you tighten everything up that your window is in the channel in here as it belongs. And you make sure your window is in the channel here as it belongs up in the front, right up in here. Okay, just want to show you. Got the one bolt back in to hold the mirror in position. Now we ran a wire through the inside of the door. We're going to take the wire that came through the inside of the door here and bring it back where we got it from. Push it back into the connector and you'll hear it snap. And then lock your pin in place. And now we can put the rest of the bolts in and the tighten those up. Attach the plastic sheeting that we 
mucho fuego estrella muerte y generoso por día por dos Make sure all your clips are back in the bottom where they belong down in here. Up in the front right here. We're going to reattach the uh, power um, window switch. We're going to put our cover back on, put the bolts back in, and we're good. Put your covers back on here, put your screws back in, snap this back in, pop that cover back on, and as you remember, we covered them back up here where the bolts were, tighten up the screw here, and the screw here, and you're done.